So, um, <clears throat> okay. welcome to the Comedy and Cocktail Show, presented by me, Damo, your host. Got Clarence as a co-host, too. And my partner, Blaze CEO, we got DJ K also on the tunes, and she gonna kill it for show. Yeah. <laughs> hey. That's all I'm saying, that's all I'm saying. So, first and foremost, I wanna thank all of you guys for coming out, supporting on a Thursday night, you know what I mean? Um, you guys look amazing. Um, tonight we're gonna do things a little bit different. I'm actually just gonna start the show, um, let y'all know that uh, seating is available anywhere in the building. <laughs> Pick up your seat, any seats. Got plenty of room, plenty of space. Um, I, I feel like I feel like y'all all been to a comedy show. You know what I'm saying? So like, I mean, we had some some rambunctious folks last time, but it's only five of y'all. So if y'all start acting crazy, everybody gonna look at y'all. Just let you know. Just let you know. Let you know. So um, we are not Dave Chappelle. We are not Chris Rock. Please don't beat us. I am bald head, but I do not have alopecia. <laughs> but y'all will never see that. And I'm Will Smith. Oh, <laughs> but my book is Will Smith. Anyway, y'all, um, I just want to go ahead and get this started um, real quick by introducing our first comedian on the stage, DJ. Y'all ready? You ready to start that music? This is the co-host for the evening, y'all. He beats me in every competition this year. Uh, uh, I ain't salty about it. I, I, I was like, yo. Come on and join me, brother man. Show me the ways. Y'all give it up for Clarence Nixon. Hey, 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 hey. Yes, um, I got hit the lottery, the lottery. Oh, so sure. I, I got shot. I got shot, cause you look like you could really dance and shit. You know what I mean? I got like that half a move. You was about to dip with it. I said, I can't go there with you. Just, how y'all feeling no good people? Yeah. What I'm talking about. I like how they got the reverb in this motherfucker. It made it sound like it's about 27 motherfuckers. Okay. Real shit. In spirit. This, in spirit. That's what I'm talking right, about. Right. I'm going to get this part out the way, too. Uh, I'm bald headed, too. I'm just that out there. I think I'm a little more bald headed than Domo. You know? Yeah. I feel like being bald is a conspiracy by the man. Yeah, I feel like that's the man's way of taking the black man's hairline before 40. You know? Real shit. I tried to beat the system, though. I, I went to the barber shop. I told the barber, take it off, my nigga. I said, I'm going to beat the system because I knew it was time because I could tell the barber was stressed out, you know, trying to figure out how the fuck he was going to work with my receding hairline. You know? Yeah, the nigga started looking at me and sighing every time I came in there, you know. Tell you what fucked me up though, man. What fucked me up one time, this nigga, this nigga was finished giving me the haircut. He handed me the mirror. He asked me, did I like it? He still had the clippers running. I said, damn, my nigga, you ain't even confident that I'm gonna like this motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all remember when you had your good haircuts? Bob would be confident than a motherfucker on him. That nigga pour a tape off and everything. He know you gonna fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I missed them days. Pull all that shit. That nigga done unplugged it, wrapping that motherfucker up. I said, boy, he's a cool ass. That nigga name was Sonny. I still remember that nigga. Boy, I was 12 years old last time I had a confident haircut, nigga. Keep that 100 with you, man. I tell you, man. I know some of y'all probably. I know some of y'all probably see these sweatpants. Probably like this nigga is dressed like a caramel frappe. <laughs> yeah. This is the best I could do, my nigga. I ain't had nobody in my family that taught me how to dress. Yeah, I ain't grow up with no drug dealers in the household. Yeah, I know that's how that's how young niggas learn how to dress. They got a brother that sell dope out the basement, man. They be fly to the motherfucker too. You know what I'm saying? We we ain't had one of them, man. I yeah, my mama used to try to get us together, man. I had one of them mamas with like, you know, she she'd do that school shopping shit. She'd find a store that's going out of business. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that'll be our school clothes for the year. I remember one time she found a sweatsuit place. I don't even remember the name of it. They specialize in sweatsuits. She went in there and bought a school year's worth of sweatsuits for me and my brother and shit. Yeah, it wasn't even the cotton sweatsuit. It was that swishy, swishy shit. You know? Damn. Had me and my brother in school looking like LaBert in that motherfucker. 
Man, real shit. Every time we walking down the hall, it sound like Steph Curry shooting jumpers and shit. Like, yeah. Man, shit crazy, shit crazy, man. I tell you, man, shit. Shit, I guess this is time to tell y'all a little bit about me since we don't really know each other like that, you know. Uh, I was raised by a single mother. Anybody? Okay, you was raised by a single mother? You was raised by a single mother? It was. Damn, that shit was contagious. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know my neighborhood was full of single mothers, man. Single parent neighborhood out there, motherfucker. Wasn't a daddy in that motherfucker. Yeah, so we used to play single parent games and shit. Like as kids, you know, we played games that didn't require supervision. You know, like y'all remember that's my car. Oh yeah. Yeah. A car drive past and you just say that's my car. Yeah. We used to play that's my father. Real shit, huh? I remember BMW pulled up one time. I said, fuck the car. I want to see what this nigga look like getting out this much. <laughs> nigga get out with a fly ass sweatsuit and some drugs on. Next thing you know, I hear my brother say, that's my father. I said, damn, this nigga be picking all the good fathers. <laughs> damn, I can't stand this nigga. This saying shit be crazy. I mean, grew up broke than a motherfucker, man. I swear, man. Grew up broke. Had broke broke family members. We even had broke nigga advice. I had one of them uncles like, he ain't give me that advice like that Bronx Tale type shit. You remember the OG used to give Colosia no good advice. You know, he used to tell him shit like walk the straight and narrow, be impeccable with your word. All my uncle used to tell me was, make sure you don't put the top lock on the front door. <laughs> Yeah, I said, damn, Unc, you are preparing me to be a one-key nigga. Oh, man. Yeah, everybody know that top lock show you where the fuck you rank in the hierarchy, my nigga. Y'all know mama wasn't getting everybody that top lock key? Yeah. Just saying, so now I am still a broke motherfucker, you know. That's okay. Yeah, I tell you, man, you, it be fucked up when you tell people you broke, because they say dumb ass shit to you. They say if you broke, you need to hang around broke people. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, what the fuck are we supposed to do? Like, you know, all two broke motherfuckers can do is walk up the shit and ponder. We like, walk up the shit and say, man, I heard the food good as a motherfucker in there, my man. Like, yeah, See, I'm going to hang with another broke motherfucker. Shit. Contrary to popular belief, two negative accounts do not make a positive in this motherfucker. Just keeping it 100 with you, man. It, it'd be hard as hell to date when you're broke, too. Yeah, cause you you ain't really got much leverage when it comes to picking women when you're broke, you know. Yeah, and then you got to do extra shit, you know. I tell you, cause contrary, no, I tell you, cause people think when you're broke that women ain't gonna give you no pussy. I I say that's a goddamn lie. They still give you some pussy, but they they give it to you with an attitude, you know. Somebody back there was clapping. They said, yeah, I just bumped a broke nigga two weeks ago. Yeah, yeah they give it to you with an attitude, man. I, I had one woman ride my dick with shoes on one time. Yeah, I, yeah, I ain't even talking about heels. Like, this bitch had Adidas on. I, yeah, I said, damn, baby, you just gonna fuck my air bed up like that? Man. Yeah. I know that's fucked up, my nigga. I said, damn, you know, this shit be crazy, man. Shit. Yeah, I had to take what I could get, though, man, because I'm a broke motherfucker, man. So, say, I. And the thing is, I'm a broke motherfucker, but I'm a broke motherfucker with a job. So I'm probably the worst type of broke motherfucker. Like, I just fucks the bag up, my nigga. Yeah, I fumbles the bag every week. Man. Yeah, I got one of the jobs, I'm a bus driver, you know. So people, I tell people I'm a bus driver, they say, uh, they try to ask me, how do I deal with fare evasion? You know, the people that sneak on the bus without paying? I tell them personally, I don't give a fuck, because being a broke nigga, I understand some shit you want for free. Yeah, I don't want to pay for everything either. I mean, but I tell people, like, it's like, life is like Pornhub and YouTube. You, know, you got free shit and you got premium shit. You know, so I tell them the bus ride is free. But details, that's premium shit right there. Like, you can get on the bus. Like, one nigga got on the bus, he walked right past me and sat down. I look in the mirror, this nigga get up and start walking back up towards me. He say, bus driver, does this bus go to Minnesota Avenue? I said, yes, sir. 
He said, does it stop at 18th Street? I said, ah, that's premium shit right there, my nigga. That's going to cost you a little money. I'm just, just saying, man. You want details, my nigga. You supposed to just sit down and be quiet and just guess where the fuck we going. Wow. You know? <laughs> just saying, man. You know, but I tell you, man, because I understand the difference between free shit and premium shit, I hate when I pay for premium shit and I don't get it. Yeah, that usually be happening in lounges and shit like this. Oh. <laughs> Real shit, I tell you, you know, you, you buy a woman, you buy a woman two, three drinks, and she start talking to another nigga. Oh. Yeah, I'm like, hold on, baby, I feel like I got next on that pussy right there. Until you pee and burp, I just feel like you supposed to give me your undivided attention, you know? Hey, shit be crazy, man. But sometimes it work in your favor, man. I remember one time I pulled up to the let out, you know. In case anybody don't know what the let out is, that's when a group of black people gathers after a social event. Hey, a good ass definition, man. Hey, I pulled up to the let out. I see a woman that's already drunk. I said, jackpot. Man. Say somebody done already took the top off the defense for a nigga. You know? Hey, so I walk up to her. I say, young lady, uh, do you need a ride home? She said, yeah. I said, back. She gets in the car, we get to her house. I said, uh, young lady, do you mind if I come upstairs with you? She said, come on. So we go upstairs, you know, and we start kissing and hugging. And right when I was about to put it in, that's when she said, ah, that's premium shit. That's gonna cost you a little money. I'm, Okay, I thought that shit was gonna hit like a motherfucker. That shit was funny as hell three weeks ago, my nigga. Oh, but listen, fun. fuck what I'm talking about. Y'all ready to start the show? We ready. That's what I'm talking about. Let, let me get an energy check in this motherfucker. Be as loud as you can right back. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That's gonna be the minimum that we have in this motherfucker when we bring these comedians up. Y'all ready for the first comedian? All right, the first comedian coming to the stage is a young lady that I met when I started comedy, and I've been watching her kill shows left and right. They're very funny. Y'all clap it up, clap it up, y'all. Give it up for Sarah Night. Yeah. Thank you, DJ. My name is Sarah Night. Uh, clap it up, blah, blah, what up for you? All right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that indica got me. I had some weed butter. I put some weed butter on my cornbread. So I'm going to try this again. I'm Sarah and I. How y'all doing? Right. I like to write jokes and creep. There's a lot of beautiful women in here. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I don't really like roll like that, but I'm, I, I roll like that. If you, know, if, you know what I'm saying? You know, I roll like that. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I like plain cheese pizza. You know, sometimes I want some roni. Some pepperoni. <laughs> Life is good. Life is good. Y'all feeling great? Yeah. yeah, that's right. We gotta do a big tonight for the greats. You know, I'm on my Richard Pryor shit. I, I will let you know I am ignorant. So I won't set it off a step further. I'm I'm in a relationship, but I'm happy though. That's just nice. Anybody want some advice, especially men? You know what gets you coochie? Being a real down to earth man. Like you supporting me? Like you supporting me and my fuckery? All my chaos, you still here? Come on, we gonna get a little motherfucker right here, you know what I'm saying? I cleaned the house this morning. Reciprocation is key in love and relationship. Reciprocation, he came home to a nice clean house. Then I come home to him in a nice clean house. He's like, you great clean the shit out of this house. <laughs> Bring your stupid ass over here, girl. Let me give me this, some of this dick. <laughs> Shit, you like the sage and the bleach? Girl, you know I like that shit. Your OCD ass. Your ass can't stop cleaning for shit. <laughs> you this motherfucking thing. He's like, yes. Did you pay the rent? I did. And his daddy goes, I like that shit. It's nice though, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's easy. Personally, I don't see what women struggle with keeping a man happy. All you gotta do is fuck him, feed him, walk away. <laughs> <laughs> you good? You, 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 what you want? You want more spaghetti and meatball, baby? Hey, yo, my man be mad as shit in traffic. I just be pulling out some oranges. I be like, here you go, man. He be like, what the fuck is wrong with these motherfuckers? Hey, yo, what the fuck is wrong with these motherfuckers? Like a, like a little ass kid, yo. 
You gotta love them though. You gotta love your man. Clap it up for your man or your woman. Cause it's 2022. <laughs> Don't know now. Just don't know now. <sighs> Lord, I, I be tired of living sometimes. It's not necessarily that I want to like kill myself, but I just want to like get in the spaceship and just be like, boop, 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 that was me in my space coop. Boop, 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 boop. Damn, that sun is hot. <laughs> she, sheesh, why are you so tan? I just got back from the space coop and I got too close to the sun and I almost became bacon. That's that indica butter, I swear to God, that shit is amazing. Oh, man. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> 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 nah, I, I shit you not. This time, uh, man, y'all, let's get a let's get a hold of these skinny jeans. And if you are thirty plus up as a man, don't come to me in no low rise skinny jeans and you bow leg like shit. Just coming in this joint with the Gucci belt, like you just want to stand and look like. I'm just a king trying to talk to a queen like, nigga, you don't get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. I know you didn't say that through your hot ass motherfucking breath. You know, I'm just a queen. I'm just a queen trying to talk to a king. Like, stupid ass. Like, nigga, you don't get the fuck out of here. Nigga, fuck you. You trying to show me off? Get your Gucci belt on. Like, nigga, you don't get the fuck out of here. You trying to show off your Gucci belt? All I have to see is suffocating genitals, sir. You need to relieve yourself. I can see your full bladder through them motherfucking jeans. Like, nigga, who the fuck is good? This is. And you gonna wear that dingy ass abusive wife shirt, aka a wife beater. That shit dingy. But you got mustard stain and shit for Valenciagas. But nigga, you got that off of Google Maps with your stupid ass. <laughs> 30 years old, you feel like a pug standing up. You got yourself out here looking thick. <laughs> what is wrong with you? You got your butt in boxes out. I see your bubble butt boxes. Well, this is stupid. How you a grown man? You got auntie booty. <laughs> oh, I'm out of breath. This shit is ridiculous. I got, I got bitch ass allergies. Jeez, I'm like literally allergic to bitch ass lips. I start get the sneezing and coughing, the eyes be running post nasal drizzles, bitch ass. Every time I shit act up, I'm like, oh shit, I'm gonna. Bitch ass allergies, yo. I'm like, bitch ass allergies, yo. <laughs> shit. Especially when my manager come around, y'all work in a dispensary. Oh, let me kick this off. Oh. I work in a dispensary. This bitch stressed. This is all this weed. That's what I'm saying. See, my spiritual sister over here, she woke. She hit, how are you stressed? And you go out, you work in a dispensary, lady. You need to inject six marijuanas or something, bitch. What the fuck is you doing? <laughs> Sit there and inject that shit. <gasps> oh, why are you late, bitch? Because I'm high. Like, this is a weed job. These niggas don't give a fuck. Like, all right, you go be here to open. Just make sure the customers get what they need. I'll be back at close. I ain't back. <laughs> oh, wow. Y'all been a wonderful crowd. It's good to be here. Love to entertain y'all again. I'm Sarah and I. I'm going to give me some drink.